Adding media like audio and video can really make your PDF magazine come alive in ways that print just can't match. And once you have your video in the right format, you can work with it quickly and easily inside InDesign with the media panel. Let's see how it works. Here in my finished PDF on the table of contents page, I have a little video. It's literally raining candy here to get readers excited about the content in this issue. Notice that it started playing right when I displayed the table of contents page. And if I mouse over it, I get some controls. I can pause it and I can drag the scrubber to see any other part of the video that I want. When I mouse off, the controls disappear again. So let's see how to add this video to our magazine. I'll switch over to InDesign and I'll press Command or Control D to place the video. I'll go to the links folder inside our exercise files and I'll select fallingcandy.mp4 and click open. I'll click on the page to place the video and in the control panel I'll add some text wrap to push the table of contents away here. I'll add a stroke of about 10 pixels in our purple color. I'll lighten the tint of that a bit to about 40 percent. And in the stroke panel I'll align the stroke to the outside. I'll do this because a stroke I apply over the video area won't show up in the PDF. Then I'll open the media panel and I can work with the controls here to set the options I want for my video. The first thing I notice is that here on the page this isn't a very interesting image so I'd like to choose a different poster. I'll use the scrubber control and drag till I find something interesting. Right around here, nine seconds looks good. So I'll choose poster from current frame and click on the curved arrows. I also want this video to start playing immediately when the table of contents is displayed. So I'll click on play on page load. And for the controller, I'll select skin over, play, seek, stop. I'll also select show controller on rollover so the controls stay out of the way until someone mouses over the video. Now let's open the Swift preview panel and preview this video. It starts playing and when I mouse over I see my controls and I can use them. I'll close the Swift preview and I'll go back to the media panel just to look at some of the other options. Also notice I have the ability to set navigation points. These can be useful in a longer video when you want to give readers the ability to jump to a specific point. What you do is set up a button and then give that button an action to play the video from a specific point. But since this is really a short video, I don't need it here, so I'll skip it. Also notice at the bottom of the panel a button with an Acrobat icon. This opens a PDF options dialog box where I can add a description of the video for people whose vision is impaired and I can also set the video to play in a floating window. I can set the initial size of it and position on screen. I'll leave the video as is and just cancel out of this dialog box. All right, now let's export to PDF and check out our video. Press Command or Control E. I'll just save it on the desktop. The format will be PDF Interactive. I'll click Save and OK. We'll go to the Table of Contents page and the video starts playing as expected. I can mouse over to see my controls and use them. There's one more thing I want to show you now that I'm here in Adobe Acrobat and that's how you can change some of the properties of the video in ways that you can't in InDesign. If I go to Tools, Content, Add or Edit Interactive Object, Select Object, and double click on my video, I get the Edit Video dialog box. Here I have many of the same controls that I did in InDesign for playing the video and setting its appearance, but I have even more choices. Like in the Controls section, I can choose a color for the controls. So I'll select that. I'll choose Other Color. I'll click on the magnifying glass. And I'll sample the purple color. Click OK. And I'll set its opacity to be 100% and click OK. Now I'll switch back to my select tool, click on the video, and see my new purple controller. One last point I want to make, and that's about video formats. 
InDesign will let you place a few different formats for video, but the best choice nowadays is usually H.264 encoded video, like MP4. If you need instruction on how to convert video formats, check out the movie on that topic in my course, InDesign CC, Interactive Document Fundamentals.